should you stay or should you go? And when I answer this question, I'm not going to be talking about abusive relationships. Clearly in that situation where there's physical uh, abuse, you should be leaving and getting out of that situation immediately and calling the police. What I'm talking about is a situation where you've been together for a number of years, you're not sure, you know, you don't feel the love anymore. And you're not sure if you should stay or go. What I would say to you is, even if you've been through marriage counselling, even if you've been to a psychologist or a psychiatrist to try and sort this out, what you're missing is that after a period of time inside a long-term relationship, particularly for a woman, okay, not having the masculine feminine dynamic there, your levels of oxytocin are going to be uh, substantially reduced. And you're not going to be feeling the love because without that polarity in the relationship, that love feeling dies. And when you bring that feeling back, when you have the polarity with those different energy states inside the relationship, there's different emotional states inside the relationship. What that generates inside a man is massive doses of testosterone, as much as 40% increases. And secondly, for women, it's as much as 30% increases in oxytocin, which is the connector hormone. And then you'll feel that love again. But to feel that love, you have to get rid of the resentment. Because five to seven to 10 to 15 years in, there's going to be a massive buildup of resentment. People don't fall out of love. They fall into Resentment. And when that's in the way, there's no way you're going to be feeling that love. So it's very easy then to conclude, I don't love him or I don't love her. And that's when you're going to want to leave. But it's well worth the effort to bring back that feeling again when you know how. And that's exactly what we know how to do for couples. And there's some video testimonials uh, up on my TikTok page. Go and have a look at those. And there's hundreds on our website relationshipcode.org, O-R-G, and have a look at them. And you'll see couples that came in convinced it was over and wanted to leave, and suddenly they're back in love again. And that is what is possible when you know the right way to do this, when you know how to get that resentment out of the way, to bring that connection feeling back again, no matter what you've been through. And sometimes that's even infidelity, you know, where your partner is cheated on you. We can assist you to get back to love again and to ensure that they are in a place where there's no desire to go and have infidelity. And what's very easy to understand in a relationship is that once you get to the point of not feeling that, divorce seems like the only door that's open. But I'm here to tell you that it's not. There are many many ways you can come back into love again. And that's what we love seeing with our clients. That's what we love seeing in our events.